Hey guys, what's up? We're making a video today. It's a uh, Detroit Human. Um, I decided to start it, and we're in literally the beginning. I have no idea about the story or what's happening. Um, literally, the game just started. I set up things like brightness and everything. Crazy uh, way they did it. Um, go check it out. But yeah, here we go. Oh dang. Alright, I've got control. Captain Allen. This is him. So why can't I like? What do I do to interact with him? There we go. Captain Allen. My name is Connor. <clears throat> I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Hmm. Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Has it experienced an emotional shock recently? This Dialogue thing. choices? Okay. Same with kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Hey man, there's no need for cursing. Alright? So I feel like I should say this. So the game had two options. I had an experienced option and a casual. Uh, I, I went for the experienced. Um, it basically said like you've got a higher chance of losing characters, but it's more immersive gameplay versus less immersive, easier gameplay and more story focus. So I decided to go for experienced for funsies. Save hostage. We're gonna save hostage because it's a little girl. I'm not entirely sure how to do the hostage thing. That's interesting. Kind of a weird way you have to like interact with stuff. Huh. They're friends. Okay.
Did I like... I don't quite underst... Are these yellow things like... Places I can go? Okay, so what happened here? Fatal trauma with a bullet wound. Okay. Oh. This is kind of cool. Okay, lots of internal bleeding. This cat is not doing so hot. Oh, this is kind of cool. Holding something. Oh, that is super cool. get out of this is the question. I feel like I need to go faster. I feel like I'm not going fast enough. So he was going to be replaced, and then he decided to lost it, to, to lose it. I feel like if I don't go in there soon, I'm going to like lose her. I don't want to lose the girl. It's too close to reality. I can't, I can't take it. Give me a clue. All right. There we go. Dang. Hot net. Oh no! The little girl saw the shooting. Shot the deviant. Okay.
Creepy. All right, this is for the Android. I think we're gonna we're gonna get out here and just go for it. See what happens. We're going for it. It might be wrong, might be bad, but we're going for it. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm you! Oh my gosh, please. My heart is beating so hard right now, I don't want to lose the kid. I could have been hitting forward on the thumbstick the whole time. Listen, I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them, you know? I was nothing to them. Please don't Just kill the girl. Ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Oh my gosh. I just I I just can't even tell you guys like how tense I feel right now, just like dealing with this. I did what you wanted. I'm your last chance, Daniel. If you let it slip, they'll kill you. Let the hostage go. You have no other choice. I want everyone to leave. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I chose compromise. I don't want to die. You're not going to die. You're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. 100%. Let the girl go. I trust you. Oh my gosh, she's safe. <sighs> That's all that mattered. Ooh, that is just gruesome. I did it to save the girl. <laughs> Which apparently I don't care anything about. <laughs>
Oh my gosh. You guys, that was just intense. Oh my goodness. Each note earns three points an extra. Do the nature of the game. Some nodes will not be counted for its completion. Okay. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. So it looks like you can basically kind of see every choice and path that was available. So I had a lot more. I had several more clues I could have gone for. But the way like the game was kind of moving along, I felt like, oh, this is interesting. So because I took so long investigating, another guy got shot. See, so like there was a real time element to it. Like the longer I investigated, then this guy got shot. And then I chose to go outside because I didn't want anyone else to get shot. All right, so I decided to tell the helicopter to go away. And then basically this is the path I went I went to. Okay, so it looks like I could have moved forward the whole time and I did, but that helped it looks like because it this branching path here seems like it was an extra sort of like the SWAT guy getting injured. Okay, interesting. I missed some down here, but Man, it looks like there were a couple alternatives. I didn't necessarily want the guy to get shot, but it looks like I would have had to sacrifice myself, and I didn't want to do that. Oh my gosh, crazy. That is eight thousand dollars. Painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. I will take it. These guys, these salesmen are androids. If you'll just follow me, we'll process the It's the same guy. Their salesmen are androids. It'll be fine. fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. This man looks very angry. Register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. I mean, it's a really strong opening. I mean, it looks beautiful.
really beautiful. I just can't, I don't even know what to say. I mean, that's the nice thing about, you know, first party though, right? You, you get to really invest in these types of opening sequences and make that really heavy, solid first impression. Pushing the little baby. Hey, water, water. You could say please, my guy. That's a lot of miles. Bruh, you don't say please, you don't say sorry. I have to wait for the green light. Oh, the game physically won't let me go. Can I like press a button? Oh, oh. it's time, it's time. Go, 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 go. Use the GPS. Go to the paint shop. That's a person. I could keep listening, but you know, let's play the game. Um, this is the paint shop right here. Kind of wish I could like run. Okay, okay. Just making sure I'm on track. I still can't believe just how intense that whole experience was in that opening sequence. An android shopkeeper. Identification very good. Creepy. Transaction complete. That guy, uh, this this is modeled off like an actor, I think, because I've seen him in something, but I can't think of what he's what he's in. So now I go. to the bus. I mean, goodness. It's just nutty. Is this the bus stop? Bus oh, over here, okay. I don't think I would want an Android. 
Like, it just feels creepy. I mean, I've got four kids anyways. Like, why would I need an android on top of all that? I mean, I know we got thumbprinting and all that stuff now, but I mean... Oh, this is creepy. This is like a Rosa Parks situation in here. What? Um... Goodness. Like, imagine, um... Like, not having to have conversations with people, just like putting your thumbprints down and being like, okay, you're good to go. Like, that just seems so weird. I miss so much. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. That one was kind of lame. Uh, anyways, that's that's been nearly 30 minutes, so uh, hope you guys like this. Um, I plan on playing some more of this, because it's fun, and I will uh, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!